Welcome to Academia de Cento. I'm Lorraine Rinaldi, and uh, every week we bring you a different chef in the Cento Test Kitchen. Today I have with me royalty, a princess, the steak princess. <laughs> Thank you. Danielle Oliveri, uh, the, uh, an heir, the heiress of I, yes in Philadelphia. Um, so excited to tell everybody not only Pat's story, but your story, because you grew up in the steak business, famous uh, all over the world, and uh, a culinary artist herself, having graduated the restaurant school at Walnut Hill in Philadelphia. So, uh, Danielle, welcome. Thank you. Uh, what are you going to make for us today? Today I'm going to make um, a dish my dad used to make, um, or my mom used to make after my dad caught the fish. I'm going to make tuna with San Marzano fresh tomatoes. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a light sauce quick with garlic and onions or over linguine pasta. So like a marinara mm -hmm. over linguine. Now let's backtrack a little bit. Tell everybody first of all about Pat's Steaks. This was your great uncle's business. Mm -hmm. Okay, me. my great uncle Pat in 1930, he was an entrepreneur. He had um, fighters and he did all kinds of crazy stuff back in the 30s that nobody would think of and um, he had set my grandfather up on 9th Street in a hot dog stand. Okay. And one day my grandfather was selling hot dogs, got sick of eating hot dogs, and sent somebody up 9th Street to get a piece of steak, put it on the grill. Now put it 9th on Street then was the Italian market, in case you're not from Philly, you're not right. sure. Put it on a, ho um, a hot dog bun, because mm -hmm. that's all they had, and the story says that a cab driver stopped by and said, I want one of those. I want what you're eating. I want, what you're, well, I want one of those. I'm tired of eating hot dogs, too. And then the, the steak cheese, sandwich was born. Yep. That's great. Cheese didn't come on it until I think in the 60s. Is that right? I think my dad was the one who, uh, who did the cheese. Yeah. And now when tell folks when they're ordering the, the steak sandwich, <laughs> all right, they can choose their cheese. Right. Well, they say they have a specific way and they even have instructions outside to mm -hmm. tell you how to order. I'm even intimidated on I've been ordering for 50 years and I don't even know how to order. I'm like, cheese wit. <laughs> and the wit means with onions. With onions, without yes. Wit, wit, without. Yeah, and then they'll ask you what kind of cheese. Well, you'll say whiz wit. Whiz wit. Whiz wit. That's cheese whiz wit. Onions. Yes. That's how I like my cheese. That's steak. how I like it too. Or Provo. Provo's good too. All right, so you went to school for the culinary arts, uh, but then got married, had kids. <laughs> yeah. Didn't yeah, I still do. You know, I still dip in it a little bit. I have a friend that likes to travel, okay. and um, we do some overseas kind of stuff. But you know, basically, I'm a ho at home cook now. Okay. Wonderful. All right. So show us what how you make your. All right. Um, first thing we're going to do is put on. Let's do this. Okay. All right. So we're going to get this nice and warm. Yeah. Not too too hot. So you're making your. Can I say marinara? I guess I can't mm -hmm. call it gravy, can I? No, no gravy, because okay. gravy in my eyes is from meat drippings. Okay. Which, so it could be red gravy. Right. It is. Um, extra virgin cento olive oil. But you're going to do the whole, all, all of your marinara sauce in this big saute pan. Yeah, it's, it's not going to take long. And okay. the shallower the pan, the quicker it cooks. Okay. So... We're going to peel a Vidalia onion, mm -hmm. which is a sweet onion. And you like the sweet onion for, I, as opposed to? As opposed onion? to Spanish or red or, yeah, this is nice. What does that do to the tomato? It's very, it's, well, it's sweet. So sweet, sweet tomatoes, sweet onions. It just makes... I know some <laughs> people like to put onion in their tomato to take out the um, acid. Do you? No, I just use it for flavor. taste. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And it should be a little bit hotter, but that's okay. We're going to saute that up. I can turn that up for you. A little bit. So this has got to cook for just until they're translucent. We don't want to burn them. So we're going to put, um, we're, we're going to use about a pound of pasta. Okay. So you got your big pot of water going there. Throw that in. Okay. Don't need the lid. All right. This needs to come down a little bit. Okay. All right. Here we go. So now while your pasta's cooking, you're going to continue to saute and this I'm going to saute my... It's going to be pretty quick uh, Yes, sauce. very quick. Right. We're going to add some garlic because uh, we love what would it be without garlic? Nowhere. Plus you have to ward off all the evil spirits. Yeah. Right? Now you mentioned that your dad would... This is something your mother would make with the fish that your dad caught? Yeah, my dad on the weekends would go fishing. He, mm -hmm. That was his passion. So when he got away from cheesesteaks... Okay. He went fishing and uh, he used to catch tuna fish. 
Now, all of my life that I've been fishing, I have never caught one tuna Is fish. That right? But he did. Um, he and said he did. You don't know if he stopped. No, he somewhere. did. No, no, no. <laughs> he would come home. I have pictures. <laughs> and um, my mom, he would fillet it. He was really good at that. And my mom would cook fresh tuna with this, with the cento tomatoes, nice. and we just love it. Yeah, the San Marzano. Nine right. Nine, so now I'm going to see how you're going to add this. All right. Now I like chunky tomatoes. This is why I make it with this recipe. There's two ways. I can either add it and smush it up at the end, or like the old Italian people do, right, we hand. smush it in here is like this. this. You do most yes, yeah. I do this with everything I make. Mm -hmm. With every, I know I love these San Marzano tomatoes. They're amazing. So flavorful. Very flavorful. Very fresh. Okay, the other thing with the San Marzano is a lot of people don't like um, the skins okay. on the tomatoes, and sometimes when you get different kind of tomatoes, mm -hmm. this is why I choose these. Um, the there's no skin, yeah. and I don't like the skin. I don't like picking out the skin. So you're so. saying there's no skin on these, obviously. So right. That's why you like them. Yes, okay. I like them a lot. This way is very good. All right. Okay, so now this can come up just a little bit more. Okay, and we're going to cook this not long. Okay. It's going to take maybe 10 or 15 minutes, really. I like it fresh. And I think we should add a little bit of juice. Okay because we don't want the sauce to be dry. This is going to come up. So like you're that. making enough to cover the whole pound of pasta? Uh, yes. Right. I would have think that that would cover a pound. Okay. Now to this we're going to add a little pinch of salt. Okay. And we have pepper. Alright. Um, I see hot peppers, but you know, some people don't like hot do spicy. You? I do. I make Throw everything. Throw a few in there? <laughs> yeah, Come sure. On. We can just chop them. These look like the little peppers we have at Pat Steaks. There you go. We cook these in o in the in a in a pizza oven mm -hmm. with oil. Ooh. And people love them. So you dry out your own in the oven and steaks. Yeah. Steaks of and then we put them like outside, that. and people love them. They, we have cherry peppers too. Okay. Is that enough? Do you need more? No, that's perfect. It's gonna be good. It is gonna be good. Okay, so now that we've been cooking the so the gravy, well, it's not really it's gravy, sauce. marinara sauce okay. for about 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's reduced a little bit. Right. It's nice and sweet with the Vidalia onions and the San Marzano tomatoes. We're going to add the tuna. Okay. Because it's already cooked. Right. We don't need to cook that. Right. And that's about a can. Now, do you make this for your dad? Yes, Aww, he loves this. Love he loves it. Uh, all we have to do left is um, get our pasta. Okay. Put that in. Let's do it. Okay. So I, you're going to add the pasta right to this pan? Yep. I, I love it. You know, I um, learned so much from these chefs, as I'm sure you do as well. But how many people, how many chefs put the, do their sauces right in these big saute pans? Well, they taught us in cooking school so that we weren't great. to put... Uh, I would lift this up and flip it, but um, it's too heavy for me. But okay. in cooking school, they taught us that we needed to cover the pasta. It, mm -hmm. We can't, don't put pasta, um, the sauce on top. Oh, is that it right? It needed to be incorporated like this. Okay, okay. So I'm always I, used to doing them in the big stock pots, but that's different. I guess, like you said, with the meat when you're doing it that mm -hmm. way. And this is so much faster. Well, yeah. you could feed a small army with that. Yeah, this is a lot of food. Okay, and I'm going to add, let's get some of this tomato and the onion nice. and the um, tuna. Every bit a part chunky. of serving your, you know, cooking your dish and then is, is the way that you plate it. Right? Yes. I, I notice you chefs are all aces at this. <laughs> we like to make it look pretty. It's Food is to the eye also. Mm -hmm. First you look at it. If it looks appetizing, then it's appetizing. All right, we got a little bit of fresh basil. Okay. I'm going to put this right next to you. I'm going to roll it. Just the way I like it. Lots of cheese. Yeah, that looks good. And Beautiful. that is our dish. It's gorgeous, Danielle. Thank you, thank you so thank much. Thank you, Lorraine. Coming. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Station. Where can everybody find you if they are? Uh... I'm the Steak Princess on Facebook, or and you can follow me at Steak Princess on Twitter. Okay, the Steak Princess. There you go. I'm Lorraine, and you are watching Academia de Cento. Follow us at cento.com on Facebook and Twitter as well. And uh, tune in each week. We'll show you a different recipe and a new chef. Ciao. Ciao.